Welcome to The Greenest Show on Television. This is, of course, the time when we sit together with some very learned people and work out whether or not we can save the planet by actually not using very much electricity. I don't think we're doing very well so far. It's time for Plank of the Week. They've already started laughing. The guests are here, uh, the planks are in place, and all we've got to do is decide which order to put them in. Uh, we've got two of the finest Conservative commentators the world has ever seen. Uh, Maya Tuzi, who's been here many times, Esther Kraku as well, uh, who's been coming back just recently. Welcome to Thank both you. of you. And welcome to the brand new set uh, of Plank of the Week, so which we've been doing it for a while, but it, we, we think it's a massive upgrade. And I'm sorry to tell Greta Thunberg and others uh, from the Green fraternity, we're also using more electricity uh, than we used to as well because of all the lights. Uh, and all the cameras. So, anyway, uh, welcome to Plank of the Week. What's your first nomination, please, Esther? My first nomination is Insulate Britain. <laughs> now, please tell me go. you have seen <laughs> the video of... There are two videos. There's yep. one of the guy getting... <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. <laughs> this is the guy getting tied with his own banner, right? <laughs> <laughs> and his face, his shocked face that someone's actually had the audacity yes. to do that. And the woman in the Range Rover driving her 11-year-old yeah. to school, who's literally just driving. Just edging <laughs> into them, yeah. It so really good. is. Well, this was about to happen, wasn't it? I mean, yeah. obviously, at this point, we probably have to say, well, of course, we wouldn't recommend doing any of this kind, uh, yeah. kind of thing. But, my, but I think definitely my favourite one is the one where they tie the guy. Because his, <laughs> look on his face. He's, he's trying to work out what's going on because very cleverly, yeah. the guy has put it between his rucksack yeah. Yeah. And, and his He really back. can't go anywhere. So he has, he's not even touching him. He's not even hurting him. No. And he's just chained him to this, <laughs> to this so fence, good. which is brilliant. Oh, it's fantastic. But you know the thing is, other than the fact that Insulate Britain clearly can't take a hint... Um, why do these climate change activists never protest at the, at the door of the Chinese embassy? Well, because the they Indian say embassy. that's ridiculous. Because whenever they get asked that question, they go, that's ridiculous. Well, well, why, why is it ridiculous? Go, why because is it ridiculous? Because China is polluting more and more each year. But yeah. the perfect chance that they have is now. Because until now, they would yeah. say that oh, our focus is Britain because we live here, right? I get, fine, I get that. Right now, yeah. we've got this COP26 conference going on. President Xi and China are not going to come, so they're essentially missing it. Mm. This is a perfect chance to go outside the Chinese embassy. Yeah. To their but you know, they've also that. subtly like changed their thing, haven't they? Because their original plan was to insulate all houses in yeah. Britain. Now they're apparently trying to stop people from dying of the cold. Yeah. yeah. So which is it, exactly? You know? But you know the thing is... So I'm not buying yeah. it that all these people die of the cold every year. I just, I'm sorry, I don't yeah, believe it. Yeah, I feel like it's, it's... We hear this every year. It's so irritating. Yeah. I never, I never yeah. really see... But the thing is, I feel like if they weren't protesting outside the Chinese embassy, <laughs> there would be, like, snipers... <laughs> <laughs> with BB guns just shooting them. <laughs> BB guns. Like, Chinese officials just shooting yeah. them with like the BB guns. Oh, I know, don't do anything about I know it. exactly. What are we going to do? We have no guns. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, this has happened now for the last sort of two or three weeks, hasn't it? That people yeah. have just taken the law into their own hands because the yeah. police are still, unless Not it's actually anything. the M25, they don't seem to be doing anything. And that scene where uh, both the scenes of, mm. of, that you talk about, I didn't see any police on either yeah, of those Yeah, exactly. But I cannot believe they? they're still going. Uh -huh. I mean, the plank should probably be pretty Patel for the mm. fact that. Well, that's the thing. The one department that's literally the worst department. Of all, compared to all of them, is the Home Office. Yeah. Yeah. All the other departments, including the Treasury and the, the Health, um, and, well, the, the Department of Health, they literally came up with instant plans for lockdowns and everything yeah, yeah. else, and they passed the bill. Yeah. Priti Patel and the Home Office have been saying, we're going to come up with a new plan, with new law, with new yeah. We're going to be so tough every, yeah. every so single time. Well, I think, because you know what, I think the worry is, and we'll come back to the sage maniacs in a little while, but, <laughs> you know, government is now done totally by sort of projection mm. and by these behavioural yeah. scientists yeah. go, I know, if you say that we'll lock you up for two years, they'll stop doing it. Yeah. Well, guess what? They haven't stopped doing it because they don't care because they know it doesn't mean anything. So basically, oh, get an injunction, that'll frighten them. Yeah. But the injunction doesn't work because they yeah. ignore it. So... Yeah. You yeah. know, um, I read this, um, and I'm just going to give him a shout out. I think it was um, Chris Williamson who made a fun fact. He was like, Russia sells loads of baseball bats, but no baseballs. Yes. <laughs> and that's why there's no insulate Russia. <laughs> there's no insulate Russia. <laughs> I think there's probably some truth to that. Yeah. yeah. And also, oh, in Russia, you really do need insulation because you really would actually yeah, die. Yeah, die, exactly. But Unless not you, in, uh, you, know. you know, not in sort of West yeah. Hampstead, where most of these characters <laughs> seem to live, yeah. in yep. either squats or houses that they own. I mean, it's just ridiculous. But they, I'll tell you what's happened. Um, well, you might remember this from last year. We did a um, uh, plank of the year, mm. and Insulate Britain were nowhere on that no, list. No. They're now in the top ten. Brilliant. You know, top as we, and they yeah. might even end up winning it, although they still have to knock Meghan and Harry off the top spot. I was just about to say that. I was like, <laughs> how can you possibly outdo Meghan? I mean, this has really been Meghan and Harry's plank year. It really has. Uh, we I, thought I it was last year, but actually this oh, year's even better. Oh, they really outdid so themselves. So they did quite well then, in prison yeah. achievement. So well, at them. the moment, they're leading by yeah. some considerable margin from, I think, the, <laughs> the, the <laughs> runners and riders so far, Keir Starmer, yeah. Um, Boris Johnson oh, and, wow. of course, Sadiq Khan. Mm.
I think Sadiq Khan will definitely top all three. I think he might do. Are the Lib Dems anywhere in the list? Or the, I they're not even on the list. list. Sorry, who? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, so much for that. What's your first one? Well, speaking of environments and all these plans that they have, Joe Biden. Joe yeah. Biden. The president. The worst uh, president well, America has ever seen. Can you believe America like actually elected a house plant? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> they actually elected a house plant. Do you think that's bad? And put the badge on him. So he tweeted this thing and it released a statement. Mm -hmm. The most nonsensical thing he said so right. far, and he okay. said the law of the so that the cost of the Build Back Better agenda is zero dollars. And then <laughs> and then the next paragraph says that the the, the president's plan won't add to your the national deficit or any anyone's apart from those who are over Earning uh, 40, 400 400 thousand yeah. dollars a year. And I was like, technically. Are you saying that people who earn more than four hundred thousand pounds their dollars a year don't count as people? Yeah, because right. that's 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 a cost. And then they also confirmed that yeah, small businesses will be hit too. So, so it, it, the cost is not zero dollars. Also, inflation because of his plans since he was elected till now gone from just above one percent to mm. five point four percent. Yes. Yeah. So that's still a cost. That's a form of taxation. Well, everything in America is going up in price, and yeah. particularly uh, fuel. And when yeah. petrol goes up in America. They That's really don't really, yeah, yeah, like it. Americans yeah. have outrageously cheap fuel. I yeah. mean, it now every time I go by a, few, uh, a filling station, I just I, I weep a little bit because yeah. I just think... <laughs> and they never but go back down. But it's literally doubled, though, because yeah. um, she... I mean, I used to go and fill up my sister's car. She had, like, a reasonably sized sort of SUV. It was, it was literally $40 mm. to fill it up, which yeah. it would have been about 80 quid. Yeah. But it's now creeping up to about 60, 65. Do they ever go back down, the prices? Over there? No, here. Oh, I mean, here? Well, they well, occasionally, but they haven't much. for a long time. Not really much, no. But the, the Americans... Americans, it's slightly a whole different situation. That's why this Build Back Better stuff that all these obviously presidents and prime ministers signed up to as a PR kind of unifying thing yeah. that they will have this agenda yeah. for the targets of 2030. But it's a trillion Biden, dollars, isn't it's, it? It's a lot. And also Biden is, most of the president and prime ministers are very subtle about it. Right. So like, but, but Boris will have it like in a behind his, like in a face, like, you know, yeah. Yeah, I'm just having a Well, like plan. today he was actually begging for money. He yeah. was actually asking for <laughs> investment. Well, yeah. he called it asking for investment yeah. for the green but economy. Bill Gates, yeah, but it's Gates. actually like, have you got a spare three billion? But 40% of American money that's ever been printed was printed in the last year. Uh, yeah. Isn't that terrifying? That is amazing, isn't Literally, it? It's, it's incredible. I mean, honestly, Joe And all Biden of the stuff is... that Biden's doing, yeah. it's very un-American. Yeah. Well, yeah. You know, it's totally anti kind of... It's very um, central. But wait till Kamala comes in capitalism. because he's not going to make it through this term. Well, I mean, that he's would literally be awful, a corpse. wouldn't it? That would literally be the worst thing ever. Because she was uh, <laughs> uh, given an honourable mention last yeah. week because of the fact that she uh, decided to blame Europeans yeah. for yeah. ruining America after discovering it. I mean, because uh, really? you can argue that, you know, there were... And bad things that happened. Yeah. But what you can't say is that they colonised America and killed everybody. No, no, because yeah. they didn't. It's yeah. quite simple. I, I swear, if Kamala comes in, we're never going to hear the end of I'm a black woman. I'm like, listen, beige lady. <laughs> You're beige. You you're can firstly. say that, of course. But like, yeah. No, honestly, I think we can't say that. Honestly, honestly, no, listen, listen, beige lady. If your policy is rubbish, yeah. we're going to focus on your policy. I don't yeah. care. This is the thing. These people, like, they don't, they, they don't hold themselves in such high regard yeah. enough mm. to actually focus on what they're doing. They just no. focus on their identity. And I'm right. just thinking... You and have if somebody criticizes them, you say, oh, you're just saying that because I'm oh, not Oh, yeah. White. And I was like, no, 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 I'm saying it. But by, by creating this uh, narrative, then they also allow the op opponents to focus on those things. Yeah. That's why Biden, I picked him, yeah. because he said that. He got away with it. No, yeah. one, no, really, else, yeah. no one really focused on what yeah. he said. And they're like, that's a big thing. I mean, the one thing he has managed to do is unite the entire country. Yeah. Uh, against him. Against him, yeah. Because <laughs> New York even is people, against yeah, him. Yeah, even people How who voted for him are going, oh, my God. We he had no like, idea it was this bad. <laughs> but this is the... Th oh, my God. You know what? I just, yeah, I, he's going to lose. I miss Trump. I can't believe yeah, it. No. I miss Trump. Yeah, I miss... He makes us miss Trump. Oh, I miss <laughs> Trump. Because, I mean, look at what Trump did against what Biden has so far done. Yeah. Yeah. And, I mean, America was a much better uh, country yeah. when Trump was in charge. Yeah. It was that much, the world was less yeah. dangerous. Yeah. You know, uh, the, 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 the financial state of America yeah. was a lot was better. was so much better. And, yeah. you know, the, the, the dealing with COVID was actually better as well yeah. because but he allowed the states... Well, he let the states do what they wanted to do. But he tweeted mean things. Yeah, he helped feelings and I just yeah. think people that had that view racist as well, really right? just yeah. are not are not <laughs> with it. With it. <laughs> oh my god unbelievable of all people well I'm Who's going back first? to one of the old stages the BBC okay. yeah. <laughs> and there are so many reasons they could go on it but for today they're going to go on it because of a question of sport which is a show that I used to watch probably before you guys were even born you know it's one of those iconic old television shows which was made up of very funny former sportsmen and women, yeah. you know, who, who could have great stories to tell but had great banter with each other. Yeah. And, of course, it's gone woke, right? Oh, and so the woman who was in charge of it, Sue Barker, who had been there for years and years and years and years, was summarily dismissed on the grounds that she was an old white woman, okay. you know, and so they didn't want any old white women so discrimination. running it. So discrimination. So now they've brought in all these other people, right. some of whom have got nothing to do with sport. 
right? So they brought in, for example, somebody from Strictly Come Dancing the other night. They put a guy called Paddy McGuinness in charge of it, who's a I've comedian. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to do yeah. with sport, right? And Martin Roberts from Holmes uh, Under the Hammer and Through the Keyhole. He's all right, but I mean, what does he know about sport? sport? Anton De Beek was a guest. Oh, yeah. You know. He has nothing. Isn't he a dancer? He's, yeah, he's a dancer. He's from Strictly. Um, and they do things like one recent game, ask competitors to guess whether rugby player James Haskell is heavier than 100,000 badminton shuttlecocks. <laughs> Why? Right? And they used to play little videos of things like a goal about to be scored yeah. and ask questions like, what happens next? Which yeah. actually is quite good TV. Yeah. Of course, the result is that they've lost half their audience. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were going to lose well, it's like anyway. what they did with Top Gear. This is a yeah. show. With the new presenter. Right, yeah. this is a show, right? Um, well, it's a bit like when Piers Morgan left Good Morning Britain. Same thing. You know, yeah, they yeah, now yeah. have no audience at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, my goodness. So, in its heyday, do you know how many people used to watch this? 19 million yeah. per show, right? Now, it's down to two. Oof. And before, when Sue Barker was on, it was like four. Yeah. So, wow. I mean, they're literally on a race to zero. <laughs> I mean, never mind net zero climate. How about net zero <laughs> BBC it, audience? It's a weird situation. In defense of the, the, well, some of the shows on BBC, for example, is that Sue Barker leaves, that show goes down. Piers Morgan leaves, GMB goes down. Yeah. Gary Lineker leaves, the, the match of they would go up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Still, that's true. But and certainly they'd save some money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. But it's, it's weird. Like, they, don't, um, they don't understand. They don't get the mood of the country. No. They don't understand from their own mistakes. The BBC, who, like, for example, they come out and say, well, we're not actually woke. We are just going ahead with the times. Mm. That's literally the definition of woke. Well, yes. Yeah. Like, just, you're not being normal. Right. You're trying to do the progress without mm. the need of progress. Well, the six o'clock news now on the BBC is like some kind of care in the community program. It's got no <laughs> news on it. They have one news story at the top. The rest yeah. is all interviews with people who, you know, yeah. are so fat they can't afford to feed their children oh, or, you know, oh. they can't get by because their universal benefit's been taken away. Or but, oh, look, behind yeah. them there's a 40-inch flat-screen television. You know, and it's all about you know, oh, yeah. helping poor Why people. Why does everything have to be so soiled by this, uh, like, identity politics I know. crap? This is what I don't understand. Yeah. Why do you feel... And uh, apart from the fact that it's patronising, it's just bad yeah. TV. Mm. It's like mm. you're trying to torture us. Yeah. I yeah. mean, life is it's miserable just, enough. You know, yeah. put something on yeah. that's actually it's entertaining. entertaining. Like, exactly. Plank of the Week, for example, uh -huh. which is why people like this show, because yeah. actually it's funny. Yeah. You know, people have opinions. Yeah. You're not frightened to say a word that yeah. nobody else is allowed to say. Like, for example, if I was to ask you the dreaded question that everyone dreads what, being what asked. What is it? What is it? What is a woman? <laughs> you know? Oh, my gosh. You wouldn't a have to do that whole cover. Keir Starmer oh thing. We start yeah. sweating, you know, looking for your notes, yeah. going, you know, well, yeah. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. The yeah. party that wants to pass legislation about protecting women that can't define what a woman no, is. I mean, it's, you can't And this is the same guy who wants the next James Bond to be a woman. A woman. Oh, he can't no. even what, tell you what she, that is. Is it going to be Janet Bond? <laughs> what is she going to be called? What Jane Bond. It? Jane Bond. Oh, God. Yeah. It's even worse. That's, that's, that's well, hopefully that's not going to happen. Let's have your second one. Ah, second one. Okay, GPs that refuse to see patients That's a person. great one. Yeah, yeah. Um, that who, is a great one. I think a group of them called it harassment. Um, well, when Sadie oh, this is the BMA, said, yeah. BMA, the BMA. Yeah. The BMA said asking doctors to do their job is harassment. It's harassment. And I was like... Or go elsewhere. Yes, um, it's a bit because, weird. But it's it's absolutely baffling to me because I think on a on a moral level, how do you not feel guilty that there are millions of people that actually couldn't get their treatment because of this whole COVID mm. pandemic? We've really sacrificed a lot, and now you're now that we're trying to get back to normality, you're refusing to do your I'm so job. I'm surprised you don't really understand how the system works. Uh, yeah. the, the NHS is there for us to protect. The NHS yeah. is not there oh, to protect us. Oh, I'm so us. sick of hearing. We that, just need you know to protect what? it, yeah. just to be there. Yeah, just to make sure it's not overwhelmed. <laughs> exactly. Well, hang on, I went down to the <laughs> doctors. Uh, and actually, there wasn't anybody in there. Some, some of the, you know, taking all the chairs out of the waiting room, so you can't wait there. They make people <laughs> wait outside. A guy told me the other day on the show, he rang up and uh, he got to, finally got the answer. The call got answered. They said, "Sorry, we haven't got any more appointments." Yeah. So he said, "Right, enough of this. I'm going to go down there." So they went yeah. down there, knocked on the door, and they said, uh, well, "Sorry, would you mind? We'll, we'll give you an appointment. Would you mind going home and calling us?" But you know, the thing is, if you're not getting this basic service, which you yeah. all pay for, I think, one, uh, the, the percentage of our tax money that goes towards the NHS should yeah. be refunded. And you should open up the private medical market so yeah. we can actually pay for these things. So there's actually competition in the yeah. private medical industry. Because one, if you do this, you're going to overwhelm our already sort of limited private medical yes, market. Yeah. So open it up for competition also, so we guess have what? choice. The only people who are working uh, and using the private medical market mm -hmm. as well as the NHS are the doctors. The doctors yeah, exactly. Because yeah. the doctors will yeah. tell you if they you get go the best in of both worlds. and they go, well, we can't see you for about nine yeah. years, but oh, can we do it privately? I'll see you tomorrow. 
The worst part, <laughs> you know, the, the worst part of this GMA story that came out about GPs complaining yeah. was that because they then had to do some investigation and get some examples. Hmm. It, well, there's a place, uh, one of the surgeries in the Nottinghamshire, that they came out and they said, OK, we're going to give you our story. Then they said the receptionists and the doctors say, said that people are calling in to ask for an appointment. That is harassment and it's discrimination against them. Like, so that's your example? I was right. expecting yeah. something dramatic. I was expecting yeah. like a protest outside of surgery. People were just calling to ask for an appointment. Right. Apparently that's har harassment. Yeah. yeah, how dare you? I, I wouldn't care if all of this, if I could just get a fucking appointment, at least <laughs> privately. You know what I mean? And it doesn't cost me my leg mm. to get, go there. Like, you just see me like driving well, you myself. Don't have, also, you don't have to take off like three days from work, work. in yeah, order exactly. to actually yeah. wait somewhere or yeah. wait yeah. for a phone call. When they yeah. say, oh, we'll call you sometime between, you know, 12 Tools. and 6? Yeah. Oh, fine. I'll just Thank sit you. by the phone then. For six hours. Right. And if I miss it, that's the end. I, if you're going to pull this crap, at least give us a choice. That's yeah. that's yeah. my issue. But yeah, I think the doctors that are doing this is just completely unconscionable. Yeah. And, and yeah. it's exactly why every country is trying to copy but also, the same model. But yeah, yeah. But also, yeah. Not, the is so yeah. great. But also, there's the other thing, right? There's, there's a new narrative in, in town, which is that you mustn't criticise anything to do with these people because yeah. they're saints, don't you know? Don't you yeah. know how hard they work? Don't you know what they're going that. through? Don't you know how hard it is to be a doctor at 100,000 yeah. a year? Yeah, the people being paid to do their job. The, right. the, this is the thing. I, I never understood the NHS worship because I'm like, one, they're not doing it for free. No. And two, I, I mean, if I was an NHS worker, I'm like, can you give me a raise instead? Well, like, am yeah. I supposed to eat claps? So that's right. quite an interesting part because the, the GP story has actually proved one main thing. Until now, the narrative has always been, oh, the NHS is there, it's free. Mm. But now people are kind of waking up because they say the narrative is, I'm angry because I am paying for the NHS, mm. but I can't see my Same doctor. Right. People yeah. are finally realizing you are paying for it. Yeah, it's, it's not, not free. Exactly. You are paying exactly. for it. Like, and a huge percent, doesn't like, I think it's like 40% big... of the tax bill goes on it's, the NHS. The second, well, I've always uh, said, the, the, and there's always been my, my cure all for the NHS, is if you pay in, there's a different queue. Yeah. If you don't pay in, yeah. you queue over there where yeah. everybody else is. Premium. And then you have premium yeah. NHS. What's wrong with that? Yeah. yeah. I think I, that I absolutely agree with that. Yeah. So, you're number two. Right. So, I will go with Prince William. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm very cautious. First our, man time. In the, our man in the upcycle velvet jacket. <laughs> mm. He's very what the hell does that society. even mean? I think you should get a hair transplant <laughs> as well. Do you not think so? Has he not had one yet? <laughs> no, but no, it's no, really no. depressing because he gets older think... every time he I does, see him. He does, doesn't it? It's, yeah. not, it's not good. Did you see that terrible scene really when Harry came over and they were both standing with their backs to the camera? Yeah. yeah. And it was like looking at two um, sort of holes. Middle-aged. Like, yeah, two holes in the Olympic, um, you know, symbol. It's like, where are the other three? Yeah. You know? Oh, my gosh. Prince William, until now, I know, I still respect him it's like one of the male like, slightly better ones. They call yeah, that. he needs he, a hair transplant. He's, still, he's always stayed away from mm -hmm. political opinion, usually, compared to his dad, yeah, for example. Yeah. Until the other day, when he you know came out to actually completely express an opinion to say that again, people have their opinions when it comes to space programs mm -hmm. and you yeah. know, spending wasting all the money to go up there and coming back down. But I don't think it should be the job of the future king to then say how people should spend their own money and how the people who have well, money or power, or ordinary people, you, I'm telling you, you should focus on fixing the trees. Yes. Yeah. Like, <laughs> fixing the trees. What, what, what are you talking about? Because right. like, well, yeah. the other thing is, is that and I saw a lot of this on social media, people saying, we normally really like William and Kate, but they've yeah. definitely done this wrong. Yeah. They've definitely made a fool of themselves because there's a line that you don't cross. I mean, yeah. It's one thing to tell people what you think. It's another thing to tell about no, we don't what really you think what you the think. world should be like. But when you are as privileged as he is, yeah. you don't tell other people what to do. You don't yeah. tell we them don't how to know live. what you think, though. Like, I, I even draw, Here's the thing, and I really admire the Queen because she never felt the need to do that. She's never told anyone she, what she, she thinks. No. It would be highly inappropriate. I think, you know, Charles has already stained his, you know, kingship even before he's actually become king because he's always had a history of saying, yeah. oh, save the planet. He said, cool, I don't have a problem with you right. thinking what you also, think. Also, if you're stupid enough to buy this ridiculous line of his that, you know, his Aston Martin runs on cheese and wine. <laughs> cheese and wine, I mean, yeah. Check yourself into but the exactly, sanitarium. People like Charles and his advisors and people like that who, they're so naive and stupid to actually think that if they, as like royal family members, talk mm -hmm. about the environment, that's not political. No. For decades and years, they keep telling yeah. him, oh, Charles, it's okay when you talk about yeah. it, it's not political. No. It's political. Also, this is yeah. a guy who used to have one employee to put toothpaste on his toothbrush. You know, I'm sorry. What? Yes, because you can. You know, this you know, is one job. Yeah. Before the royal family decided it might be a bit of an idea to slim down a bit, yeah. you had a guy that put toothpaste on his toothbrush. Ah, why didn't Supposedly he had other duties teeth? as well, but I can't get into those. Oh, we need lorry drivers, not toothpaste yeah, toothpaste. Can suppliers. you drive a lorry? Toothpaste <laughs> suppliers. Have you seen that meme of Boris asking the Queen, I heard you drove a lorry during the war. <laughs> no, <laughs> that yeah. is very good. Well, I think Prince William deserves it, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go with Pizza Express uh, yeah. with my okay. second one, because Pizza Football Express... Bathroom. 
doesn't have bad food, but uh, we've started a new uh, little feature on my show called Shortage of the Day okay. because we keep being told we're running out of stuff, right? Mm -hmm. yep. And we've been running out of petrol for a while. It's fine now, apparently. Toilet roll for a bit. Everything, yeah. Couldn't get any of that. Couldn't get any rice for a while. Yep. I had to buy Egyptian rice, I remember, once in the first lockdown. Oh, I didn't even oh, know it was God. such a thing. I couldn't it's get Peroni nice. last night. I ran out of Peroni. Yeah, so Peroni. There you go. Sure, well, yeah. you probably should have stopped drinking earlier. Um, yeah. Before it ran out. <laughs> so here's what Pizza Express have run out of this week. Uh -oh. You'll never believe this. Pizza's. Pizza. No, I've actually, although I actually once went to a Pizza Express in Eastbourne mm -hmm. and with my kids when they were quite young and they said, we can give you a table but we can tell you we don't have any pizzas. And I said, what? What? <laughs> it's called what Pizza is, Express. What do you have? <laughs> and they went, well, we don't have any pizza dough because it hasn't been delivered. I'm like, don't you have anyone who knows how to make pizza dough? I said, yeah. it's flour and, yeah, and a little bit it. of water, <laughs> mix it together. Um, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> no. So I went, right, OK, they, we're hoping to get a delivery. Anyway, now, today, they've run out of spaghetti bolognese. <laughs> I kid you not. The reason, they say, is Why? they can't get the ingredients for spaghetti bolognese because apparently mm -hmm. they fly them in from Italy. Oh, and wow. I'm going, so there's no one else that grows what? So, what did you go to I mean, I think to get almost any... If I walked out onto the street now <laughs> and said to absolutely everyone, give us your spaghetti bolognese recipes, it's the one thing everybody makes. Yeah, everybody exactly. makes spaghetti bolognese. They don't all make it the same, but, you know, you can literally make it They could just walk to Tesco mince, and get all the stuff onion, they want. garlic, no, but hold on. tomatoes, are there not other countries that grow oregano. Tomatoes? Yeah, just get the British ones. It's not difficult. Oh, you don't need ingredients from Italy, do you? Yeah, exactly. From well, yeah, there's that as well. Get the Welsh meat. Get the tomatoes from L uh, Lincolnshire. And I, I mean, don't know it's, it's just the most ridiculous <laughs> thing I've ever heard. And it's it sort of sums up this whole kind of shortage mentality that people have got. Yeah. Oh, we can't get that, so we can't make this. So weird. And you just go... But the thing is, there's no perseverance. Rubbish. Like, you're losing millions. Are, yeah. are the people running your business morons. Yeah. If well, I was, you if have I, to if wonder, I, don't you? Yeah, if I was a shareholder and some idiot came up to me and said, oh, we don't have bolognese at an Italian-style restaurant. That's how Jamie restaurant. Oliver went down. Yeah, yeah. because, because we, 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 do don't, the, uh, we, we ship it from one place yeah. And there's nowhere else on the planet that can <laughs> deliver. I'll just be like, you're fired. Well, these right. are people who became lazy because of the European Union mentality, the protectionist yeah. mentality. They're not open-minded in terms of international trade. Right. So they're like, oh, I've already signed the contract with an Italian guy. And because of thanks to the EU, we've left. They're like, oh, can I go somewhere else? Yeah, yeah. you can. Yeah, like yeah, also, which, you know, which bit of the of the of the ingredients do you not have? You know, because yeah. if you don't have tomatoes, you could make it with some other thing. You Literally. make beef stock if you like. Yeah. You can use red wine. You yeah. know, there's any number of things. If you actually employed any chefs, <laughs> clearly Pizza Express doesn't have anyone that can cook anything. I'm pretty sure Greece grows tomatoes. <laughs> Well, Britain grows tomatoes. You can, yeah. you can take oh a trip God. down. If yeah. you get past Insulate like Britain on the M25, you can yeah. take a trip into Kent, the Garden of England, yeah. where you can buy tomatoes, yeah. cherries. They sell them by the side of the road. Yeah. yeah. You can actually grow them in your own house. <laughs> if surprise. you wish. I mean, you know, <laughs> it just is stuff. shocking. Anyway, so your bad. final nominee. My final, I don't know how to say his last name. Follow. Uh, just a moment before. Femi. Femi. Uh, what's Femi. What did I say? You didn't even say the first You sort of made sort of an amalgamation <laughs> yeah, of his name. Yeah, Femi. Oh, this will go well. Well, the last uh, time he sorry. got nominated by Emily Carver, right, you didn't shut up about it for about two weeks, claimed that we were being racist and said that basically well, we were picking well, yeah. on him. And, that, and get this, that we were obsessed with him. That was in about January, I think. You should take us a call. So we, we're talking about him. We're he so obsessed with him, we haven't anyway. mentioned him since, I think, about... Ten months Ten ago. Ten months, and I got his name wrong. So Femi, blah, blah, blah. Um, can I please have the tweet so I can read it out? Yeah, it's got a tweet. I this was moments before they actually found out that um, Sir David Amos actually yeah. had passed away. So yes. it says, <clears throat> before Boris Johnson does his tweet about the disgusting attack on Tory MP David Amos, saying how he's outraged about how violence has infected our politics, please remember that he was happy to use death threats as a tool to try to get Joe Cox's successor to support Brexit. You have to what? be like the level of shamelessness yes. it takes to write a tweet. I mean, like even this for him, that was pretty awful. It's incredible. And people who are um, right-minded people, one of whom was Julie Hartley Brewer, actually said, "Even you know, for you, this is you know, show this a little bit low. of respect, yeah, yeah. This is because low. this was a terrible incident that happened. It was an yeah. awful thing, and I think everybody was affected by it, yeah. no matter what hue." Of politics you were from and to turn it into some kind of Brexit related thing yeah, yeah. it's just pretty it's disgusting but did you hear that like sort of uh, American trans activist that was like oh Britain's better off with someone like him I mean just that's just not foul yeah we just don't need stuff. it do you yeah anyway <laughs> yeah. it's just I too think... far because and he took him because he was doubling down when he mm. tweeted that took him ages a lot of people told him to delete it but he didn't did he? until like after a few he's, days he has deleted he it recently done it now. he didn't apologise naturally no, 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 because no, no. obviously no one on that side of the political aisle ever does anything wrong that they have to no. apologise no. for you you just have to apologise um, you know if you say anything to upset that, that yes. group of people yes oh, but if you say anything I mean he'll want you to apologise now for well, saying yeah. he's a plank of the week because well, that's yeah. what he did last yep. time so I mean apologize. in fact uh, he, was, he even complained to Ofcom the last time that he was singled out and I said to him look 
We have done this now for the best part of two years. We yeah. nominate 10 different individuals yeah. and organisations every single week. <laughs> that means we've probably nominated about 200 people so far yeah. this year alone when he complained. Uh, you're just one of them. You're the, I guess what, you're the only one that's complained? One in 200. Where does he yeah. find the time? Sure. So good. Oh, just God, accuse God. me of making a dad joke. Well, I mean, I get you young I people on here. Better quality I get you young people on here for a bit of balance. You know, don't expect These to be off. I think this is, this is also kind of um, anti-work, what I said. I think this is discrimination against the You should hear his un, 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 un PG joke. Exactly right, yeah. Definitely yeah. Luckily, I've got yeah. a thick skin, so I wasn't brought up to be a snowflake. Yeah. Yeah. to all the dads. And all the jokes. You may be one soon. God help you whatever child you have. I know, oh my God. God help the universe. Yes. This is your last one. So, I'm very excited about this one Go on. because it's just I can't not stop laughing when I think about it. Matt Hancock was <laughs> <laughs> he was offered a job by the United Brilliant. Nations to go save Africa, like basically fix go Africa. Save Africa. He's, he's like the Black Panther. He's gonna get yeah, like, yeah. yeah. And then perfect ten, guy for it. Right? Ten minutes yeah. later, they withdrew the job <laughs> and they removed all traces on on their website. Yeah. The UN is like any. Did they just find name. out about his scandals? <laughs> yeah. oh, Do you know what God. I think actually happened? I don't even think they offered it to him because. The, the way that he did it, right, and I, because you kind of know how slippery he these characters are. It. What he did was he published the letter that he wrote in response to this woman's letter mm -hmm. from the UN. He didn't publish her letter, right? Because <laughs> I think her letter said, Dear Mr. Hancock, we're in the process of setting up this kind yeah. of body um, to try and improve the Let's way the vaccination is rolled out. You know, would you be interested in helping out? Yeah. Or something like that, right? Yeah. But not a job. And, yeah. like, oh, right? job right. and he decided, because he's so <laughs> desperate to get back into the fray, oh. um, and he's because he's been trashed universally by almost oh, everyone, including Mrs. Hancock, who's not too impressed with <laughs> soon to be ex-Mrs. Hancock. Yeah. Well, exactly right. And so I think he thought to himself, because the trouble with these people is they're, they're such conspiratorial types yeah, that they, yeah. they sit around for hours, right? He yeah, probably yeah, thought, yeah. if I send out a note saying how delighted I am to accept yeah. the job, they won't be able to turn it down. Yeah. Well, They'll yeah. have to give me the job, but yeah, then yeah, I'll yeah, be yeah. back. I, I, I it's can... happened before right? sometimes, so he thinks it probably works. He changed his LinkedIn profile before he even published oh, the other thing. Oh, that's so Did embarrassing. He? Yeah, it was embarrassing. No, yeah, what, so like, there's a new oh. job? Yeah, it was like, I've got a oh new job. Oh, my God. And then he published the actual statement. Like, oh, my God, that's you did that. so didn't... embarrassing. <laughs> I, 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 I can't believe I'm saying this, but I feel like he's going to be at the job centre soon. <laughs> I'd give it a couple of so years. Bad. Like, honestly, how like, Matt Hancock is unredeemable. Well, I think he is because he all you've is. got to do whenever uh, anybody says Matt you Hancock, know, it's Matt just Hancock like he got just... his hand and then it's not. It's not a scandal. Uh, MP <laughs> it is uh, kind uh, of... it's, uh, MPs and other people and well, public figures fall into scandals, but they're mistakes or like some dodgy stuff. Yeah. Unless it's like certain things you can't. They could. They could still come back up if. They have something to offer. Well, do you know what's funny? Yeah. He well, have what's funny is do. that in the plank of the week last week, Lawrence Fox was here and he actually nominated Sajid Javid. Yeah. And, and just because he uttered the words, I thought Matt Hancock was bad, the, the guys in, edit, in the editing suite cut in the, the snog. Oh, and God, so, because every time anybody mentions his name, yeah. he's just immediately used that. <laughs> and and just, you go, that, there he that is. That video was traumatizing. Like, yeah. the way he was Why did grabbing I keep watching it? Watching it. Feeling, <laughs> oh, it was just so horrendous, cool. wasn't so it? It was horrific. And I was just, I just. You can never forget that. I, I, I can't, I can't, because I never saw him as human. So the fact that he's, <laughs> he's human. Like an alien. With, with <laughs> a lot of women, a lot of women apparently find him attractive, though. The, oh, God. I mean, I don't know what kind of women. If you're a woman and you find him attractive, posh, like, you know, as your husband. Boy, like, maybe. Nerdy, you're not doing but... Well, I, I, know, well, I was always assuming it would be power, right? Because, I mean, I yeah, thought... Yeah, power's an aphrodisiac. Oh, Gina, right. whatever her name was, Carla D'Angelo, as I call her. She sounds like something out of Sopranos. I was like, okay. hey, Gina, get over Gina. here. <laughs> you know. Where's my coffee? Where's the Cadillac? <laughs> but, you know, um, you thought she'd wake up the next morning going, you know... Have a look husband, at him! My husband's like a millionaire, right? <laughs> This guy has no money. He doesn't yeah. even have a ministerial job now or a ministerial car. Anything. You know, we, we've been literally moving in a... And it was in the back of a Vauxhall he was moving his stuff out, right? <laughs> Vauxhall Astra, like a two-door Vauxhall Astra. <laughs> and this is a woman who's, you know... I'm, I'm sure she would it. go back to old Oliver Bonus. I just thought she would. But she didn't. She's still with him. So, I mean, it must be a nightmare. But, in my, gosh, anyway. he's not, There's nothing worse for people like him no. than to be Your nobody. life must be sad that Dominic Cummings is more respected than you are. Yeah. Like, that's, that's bad. I'm not sure you get that far. <laughs> um, but the thing is, imagine, <laughs> imagine how much of an ego hit it is for Gina's husband. Like, she left me for that. Yeah. yeah. Boy, yeah, <laughs> what? She left me for that. Right. <laughs> and also... an African accent. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, you know, everybody has I difficulties, mean, right? Everybody has difficulties, but I mean, the way that he, he must turns have had up, more than difficulties. turns up. Yeah. At, no, I mean, in terms of like marital strife, he must have had that. low battery as well. No, right? but hang on, he turns up at his <laughs> at his at his family home, right? <laughs> Having not been there for the whole day, Mrs. Hancock answers the door. Mm. 
I'm sorry, darling. Um, there's something coming out in the papers tomorrow. Oh, dear. Um, about me. Oh, she definitely had a side. And she went, right. And uh, <laughs> and also, I'm uh, I'm leaving you. Um, and I'm just going to go upstairs and tell the kids I'm leaving you. And then I'm off. Yeah. That's how he did it. Yeah, exactly, yeah. I mean, really? Yeah. It's weird. I mean, that's cold, isn't it? So cold. I know. It's just, yeah, but it's very sad. Um, it might, he's done it to himself, so, you know, can't really feel sorry. My husband's not allowed to do No, that. I don't feel sorry for him at all. No, it's the funniest thing that ever happened. <laughs> when I saw that story, literally... <laughs> Was the funniest thing. He looked like seen. a starved dog in that video. He was just like, ooh, but the, the, all over her. I was like, wow. Using a fake job. That's too bad. <laughs> he literally, he looked so starved, no, really it, physical. Do you know touch. what it looked like to me? It was like one of those school discos when you're about 13. Yeah, and you don't know what you're right? doing, so your hands so are like all over against the female, wall. female, female, female. Oh. Oh, anyway, yeah, and yeah, somebody so. put the light on and they found you there, I you know? know. Oh, yeah, God. unfortunately, Matt didn't have time to fix Africa, so... Yeah, yeah. so Africa so just we, have to get on without him. <laughs> get on without him. If he was Africa, Africa, we just have me and we'd be like... Oh, I mean, Africa's what, got enough problems. This is what you were doing there you with, your, with your girlfriend just grabbing yeah. <laughs> in, the, in the lift. <laughs> You're coming to fix us. That's brilliant. Oh, we're still going to get cancelled. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you could not make that. You just couldn't make it up, could you? Oh, my God. Tremendous. Well, Brilliant. listen, I'm going to go with my final one. It's John Lewis. Oh, sure. um, I don't know if you've seen the John Lewis uh, commercial for, not Christmas this time, mm. but it's for home insurance. Insurance. Okay. Um, and it's typically woke, mm -hmm. and it's meant to kind of, you know, uh, make everybody think. Right? Oh, yeah. So it opens with this little boy mm -hmm. who, and actually this is not the bit, some people got worked up about this. He's dressed up That's as a girl. That's not the big part of it. Eh? I don't really care about that. I mean, oh, I have, really? I mean, I have a son... <laughs> Um, Wait for the rest who's of the now story. 26 and <laughs> skates in, uh, uh, in, in, a, in, a, in a skate park in, in Los Angeles and plays in a rock band. Oh, he's one of... And he's very tattooed yeah. and he's not a girl by any stretch. But his, his sister used to dress him up as a girl yeah, yeah. and make him come downstairs and put lipstick on him and all that. Right so the kid looks a bit like that. Yes. So that's quite funny. However, the bit yeah. that I was upset by, yeah. and other, many people were, this is an ad for home insurance. This kid is literally on the rampage. He's running wild, right? Okay. So he starts throwing things. He knocks a lamp over. He comes down, he finds some paint, tips it up onto the floor, puts his hands in it, sticks it all over the wall. His mother is sitting at the kitchen table looking at him with a mixture of sort of admiration and pride because he's expressing himself. And you're kind of going, if that was my kid, he'd have got a clip around the ear before he got to the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Right, and he'd be confined to his room for the rest of the day, yeah. and so he basically trashes the whole house. Yeah, right, but he's expressing himself, and then he's expressing himself. And at the end, it says something like, "Let life happen," let, let or something. Yeah. Let life is something. Yeah, let, let, carry let, on. let life happen. Basically, yeah, but I mean, the, the, one, yeah. the thing that really annoys me about it is that if you rang the insurance company and said, "My son has just trashed my house," they go tough. <laughs> Yeah. I'm afraid that's not covered by our policy. Be a product. Because, yeah. if you do because that, he smashed the place yeah. up deliberately. Because they say oh, accidents just... happen. That's not an accident. It, like, it breaks in something, that, that's fine. But the mother was sitting there, she could have stopped them. And they could come around, check the house. Yeah. Like, that's not one accident. But I, I actually, I think if they had like a parent like, castigating their child for doing that, yeah. they would probably, you know, get in trouble for uh, child abuse. Or, like, no. You never actually see parents being parents on TV. No. It's all about child... Like, if I did that, yeah. I wouldn't have teeth. Let your my child... Mouth. My mother himself. would backhand me before yeah. I got to the bottom of the stairs. Like, yeah, right. She would backhand me up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you'd be cleaning the paint off with your hands yes, exactly. right? and your nails scratching yeah, exactly. away. And of course, oh my um, he's doing it all to Stevie Nicks' Edge of 17. So it's quite uh, a trendy sort of song. Eddie Izzard put out a tweet saying, isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. You know, that this, we, have we now children. finally have acceptance in 2021. It's like, it's an insurance ad, right? Yeah, Apart yeah, from the else, John down. Lewis has just shut half of their shops because they don't know how to run a company. They're losing 500 million <laughs> quid, oh, right? And this ain't going to help them yeah. no, because no, all no. the wokists who think, oh, isn't it great? I've already well, got home insurance. Is, and you know exactly. the thing is, a lot of these workers don't have children or they don't end up having children or if they do, they're very weird, like Will Smith's yeah. kids. But look at the family Will Smith is in <laughs> yeah. with his wife yeah. sleeping with other men. Yeah. And she's like... <laughs> and telling the world about it. Yeah, and having an entanglement. It's like, I just wanted to feel good. Yeah. Like, what? And he's meant to sit in front of millions of people on Facebook and yeah. go, yeah. okay, honey. Yeah. Really? Uh, and there's a name for that, isn't there? Well, I don't think we yeah, can say it. We can't I mean, say it, yeah. can we? Well, no, no, I wouldn't, yeah. frankly. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so, right. um, so yeah. we've also got to carry on over from last uh, week, as last we do week, traditionally. Yeah. Right. We've got the nine, and we will be whittling them down to three in a moment. I'm going to carry over Sage. Oh. Okay. Not because Sage uh, 
globally have done anything, but we had somebody from Sage last week, and today, Neil Ferguson, yeah. you know, the Suggesting man that can't that get we... anything right, has never got anything right in the history of the world, but keeps getting a spot on the Today programme. They get him on about twice know. a week. It's incredible. It's all, all the people twice that week made they the most mistakes are just... Got, they Sage, have a career Sage still. has so many members. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is it always I know. Him? Well, because he obviously likes looking at himself on TV. Yeah. Mm. His latest uh, gamut, right, is that, uh, well, we might actually be out of it, but... The thing is, we're not completely out of it, so I think we should all start wearing masks again. <laughs> not because it's safe to wear a mask, right. not because the mask safeguards you or me okay. or you or anybody else, but because it will remind us that COVID exists what? So and it will make us behave differently. Well, it's, it's the only thing that mask wearing makes people do is behave less carefully, yeah. in my experience, and that's what they used to say. The people wearing masks actually spread. And these it more. people are the ones who are supposed to be good at their behavioural kind of yeah. science and yeah. understanding right. how humans think. You do realise how uh, the COVID stuff was so big in terms of the impact that no one's going to forget. Everyone's going to like. The, the I'm pretty like, sure that you know no one has forgotten that COVID happened. <laughs> he sounds like COVID's PR team. Yeah, like he misses it so yeah. much. He was like, yeah, "Oh, COVID, baby, yeah. come back to me. Let me yeah. just wear my mask. Yeah. So you can stay with me. Team like, COVID, leave yeah. me. Yeah. Okay, so I don't even care that he wants us to do that. How about? Like, go oh, away. Yeah. Leave me alone. Yeah, exactly. Why Why, why is it so That's difficult enough. for people to just let other you people You know, be? I think this is the key, though, because they love it. They love telling yeah, they you what to do. It. They love the idea that they can go like that, and they go, oh, look, they're all doing it. I know. <laughs> <laughs> look at those idiots. I yeah. know. It's like Mahal Khan. That's probably yeah. what, what ruined his career. It's like, oh, don't do that. But then yeah. he was just like, ha, ha, you but see the, what uh, they're doing, Julius? The, yeah, yeah. the, the biggest mistake we made as a country, and well, well politicians gave them the power, mm -hmm. Public Health England and Sage, these groups, uh, you know, they always gave advice yeah. every day. Guys, do this. It was always suggestions. We gave them so much power that their advice became mandatory. They wanna... So now they think going forward, any well, advice. But also, be there mandatory. are some people in this world now who wait for the government to tell them to what cross to do, the line. Yeah. Oh, they or love to that. Go you and see, see their it. family oh. for Christmas. You know, people oh. love control. Do you know what? I mean, I was last year. I was going, <laughs> really? Yeah. You think I'm going to have so many people who I just had Christmas on my I own. I know so many people you know? that didn't see their family over Christmas. I'm like, you're crazy. <laughs> You've <laughs> lost your bloody mind. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I know. No. Well, they were calling in and one of the shows at the early days, like some of the, like, the radio shows, they're asking uh, the guests who were like experts, uh, can I drive to Sainsbury's? I'm like, why are you asking a random person if you can drive well, to Well, you remember that ridiculous yeah. press conference where Beth Rigby was asking the Prime Minister, <laughs> can I sunbathe on a Sunday? <laughs> why are you asking the Prime I mean, to be honest, I'd rather you didn't sunbathe. Talk, but, you know, <laughs> I'd rather not even have fact, that image in my head. To be honest, I didn't even think you came out during the daylight hours because you look a bit sort of. Uh, anyway, that's enough about her. Yeah, so, so let's uh, let's get yeah. it down to sure. uh, from nine to three. So, yes. uh, Maya, why don't you pick your favourite one of Esther's? So you had so uh, your three were Insulate Britain and uh, MP, um, doctors that refuse to see patients. Oh, they're all very good, and I, I would I would have gone with favourite. No, Insulate Britain is too hilarious. Like, they, um, yeah, gonna they're, go. they're going to end up yeah. winning this, you know, winning the whole this. year. I know, I know, yeah. the whole year. Team IB. Yeah. Right, so I'll give you my three: Pizza <laughs> Express, mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Quest BBC, uh -huh. and John Lewis. Oh, John Lewis. Just John because, Lewis. I mean, oh my Never god. Never knowingly undersold. Even thinking of what my parents would have done to me, like oh, they would probably just handcuff me to a radiator and not <laughs> let me leave. <laughs> I'll be like, Mommy, I'm hungry, there's no food. Yeah, I should yeah. just keep it moving. Oh, I know. <laughs> Absolutely right. Yeah, we'll see you next week. We'll be back. <laughs> I know. Okay, oh so god. I've got Joe Biden, yes. Prince William, and the savior of Africa, Matt Hancock. Oh, it's got to be Matt, hasn't Matt, it? Yeah, it has to be Matt. It's it got to be, be Matt. Matt. Oh, I mean, I think now, finally, he'll disappear for a bit longer. I think yeah. the next time he tries to rear his head, it'll be like, yeah, yeah at least next but it's April. it's so good. It is good. It's so good. I feel like he should win overall. <laughs> it's so well, embarrassing. It's so, yeah, we've got three now. So let's now decide who is going to win Plank of the Week. Right then, so we're down to the final three. Yeah. It's pretty good, actually. Insulate Britain. Yeah. Good. Matt Hancock. John Lewis. Oh, okay. I mean, remember the John, I mean, the John Lewis had, Christmas hat hasn't even come out yet. Although yeah, some Christmas hats have come fun. out. Oh, it's so difficult because I really don't like unruly children. However, Matt Hancock is one, like a one and a half. Unruly children? Yeah. Matt Hancock. Well, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, <laughs> it could be an ode to that, but oof, it has to be Matt. Can, can I pick my own? Well, what we do is we have a collegiate conversation. I mean, oh, you've obviously yeah. forgotten how so it works. So it's like Sage. <laughs> yeah. Thank, by the yeah. way, thanks for uh, dressing up and uh, you yeah, know, coming taking suited account. and booted. Suited and booted for the yeah. brand new studio. You know, I was Esther's not made an effort. Thank you. What do you mean you were not told? Doesn't she always? <laughs> Repping my merch. Uh huh. Is, what is it? W, 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 w. Oh, I believe in Britain. Is that not some kind of offence? Are you sure you can get arrested <laughs> on the way into, into work with that? I know. You're, You're trying know, to get fascist. <laughs> you know, how dare you put a union a flag on your, on your clothing? The back, of, the back, back of it says silent majority. Oh, God. <laughs>
Oh mm. my god. I just destroyed the set. Please don't yeah, come on the desk. Please don't come on the desk. I'll just be like, I'm not with him. Yeah, so, so all right. No, so you you can nominate anything you want. Well, this fair, is, this the, is, the, we the, arrive at this the in the top a, ones are uh, Democratic. Uh, uh, Insula Britain and Hancock obviously look very, very good. Close, very close. By the way, I thought Insulate Britain had taken 10 days off. They were supposed to. I mean, they haven't been off for 10 days. They just they just always have holidays because they're retired losers. Yeah, well, I mean, also, either that or they're at school and it's nearly half term. And I thought, I was pretty sure... They're just, just practising. I was pretty sure. Did they not say they last say. week that they were taking 10 yep. days off? Because yeah, yeah. I remember thinking that means they'll be back on the 26th. But they, 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 came, they said they were going to come back with the Fury as well. So I was really expecting Fury. Rage, not um, like... Not one of the videos all those from a few days ago. So I know one of them. I think the car is from a few days is ago, it? but it only came out today. Uh, okay. So yeah, it's from... But they've only, been, um, they've only been saying they're not doing it for a few days, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, but it's so good. It's so group. good. Yeah. There was a splinter group actually a week or two ago um, on the North, North Circular what, Road. What are they called? Heat UK. They were, no, they were, they were demonstrating. <laughs> they were demonstrating. You know, free milk for everyone. They were demonstrating about some incinerator plant oh, up in the, up in North London, somewhere right. near Haringey. Um, and so they were sitting down on the North Circular Road, and you go, "Well, how many more of these people are there?" You know, and the North Circular is a very dangerous road to be sitting on. I would literally, I probably just would actually run you over yeah. with impunity. Well, somebody will get run over. And I mean, yeah. that, the tragic side of this funny yeah. story is yeah. that, that somebody actually will, because people yeah. will get crazed. Yeah. I mean, this morning I oh, tried to get into work to and the, the roads were at standstill. Yeah. And if somebody had tried to stop me getting somewhere, you know, I, I probably would have run somebody over. I mean, it's just not, it not very good. Oh, yeah. I think so, they should win as well, actually. Uh, it's very difficult. What do you think? Well, I think. Um, John Lewis, for me, is a good contender purely yeah. and simply because Matt Hancock is, is quite high up on the list. He's definitely That's in true. the top 20. Yeah. For yeah, he doesn't need more. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure this is any more plankish than anything else that he's ever done. Mm. Insulate Britain I, have been up there or thereabouts. They've won it a couple yeah. of times in the last yeah. few weeks. But they'll still so be in the top there. three. Yeah. Well, I think John Lewis, John Lewis really have made a total and Help them come up. Rick yeah. of this. Mm. And, you know, everybody's reaction who likes it you know he's an idiot. Yeah. And that's yeah. kind of, so it's kind of separated Britain yep. into mm -hmm. sensible people and the world. Everyone else, yeah. And they all that's go, it. oh, isn't it nice to see somebody <laughs> expressing himself? Actually, no. <laughs> okay, you've convinced me. Yeah, yeah. the job, yeah, oh the my gosh, just because I just think, I'm like, oh, yeah. it's so, and the thing is, <sighs> It's really annoying because then that kid was, is going to grow up and really piss everyone else off mm. in society. That's what I, th I think these these parents don't understand that their selfish actions have uh, repercussions on the rest of society, and they don't understand why doesn't anyone like my kid? Because your kid is a brat. Yes, your kid is a brat, and and all kids are now brats. <laughs> yeah. Because, oh yes. You know there was that school last week where they said, oh, we don't really like the word uh, bad and good, yeah. so right. we don't refer to behaviour like, behavior it like less, that. Less less good. And they know they like uh, skillful and unskillful. Which actually is worse. That's I mean, worse. Unskillful is worse. That if means your kid comes you home, you got no if your kid comes home and goes, they call me unskillful at work, you'd be straight oh, down there. Yeah. Yeah. Going, well, how dare you talk to my child oh, like that? Oh, bless him. Yeah, I you just... So, yeah. Oh, God. And the kids kids these days, I just don't understand it. Like, I feel like there's some things I would never have seen growing up that I see no. all the time. Like, I see a kid no. telling their mum to shut up. If I told my mum to oh. shut up, I wouldn't have teeth left in my mouth. Yeah. You really shouldn't. And, and, and you know, that, that has all been... That has all gone kind of haywire, hasn't it? Yeah. I want to give an honourable mention, by the way, before we go, uh, before we declare the actual winner, to. Bath City Council, who, who just about <laughs> didn't quite make it in. Um, okay. The reason being that um, <laughs> they've got fines that they hand out if you're driving in a bus lane, right? Yep. And if they catch you on camera, they take a picture yep. of your number plate and they send a fine to your uh, house, right? Now, um, there's a couple who, for some bizarre reason, I don't know why you would do this, mm -hmm. um, have got a, um, a number plate that looks a bit like Knitter, right? Mm -hmm. It's actually, I think, KN9TER. Looks okay. a bit like knitter. Yeah. A woman was wearing a jumper with the word knitter on it. Right. Mm -hmm. And she got sent a ticket <laughs> for walking in a bus lane. That's how sophisticated the system is. That's amazing. Yeah. Right? She's not even a car. So she's, she's not even a car. Uh, she hasn't committed any offence, but she got a £90 fine. That's brilliant. Did she have to pay it? No. no. Okay. She went and told Mail Online about it and yeah. uh, they've written Why about it. It made Bath City Council look like complete morons. That's idiots. A, that's a funny story. I love that. Right. Good. So we're going to give it, I think we'll give Matt Hancock number two, shall we? Matt Hancock should definitely be up Insulate there. Insulate Britain number one. I think John Lewis should be number one. You Sorry, Insulate John, Britain number yeah. two, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's John, right. John Lewis one. Yeah, yeah I've yeah. misdirected myself. Yeah. <laughs> Very confusing. But anyway, so right. So the winner of Plank of the Week this week, John Lewis. Not even Christmas yet. Well done, guys. Thank well you. Uh, see you next week for another fabulous edition of Plank of the Week. <laughs>